Today we look at the latest Fedora which is Fedora 41. Now let's see what is new on this version of Fedora. First of all, we can see we have a new wallpaper, a different version of GNOME and a different a kernel. This should be the top three that make it different from Fedora 40. Now let's begin with a simple tour of the OS, very similar to what you've seen on Fedora 38, 39 and even Fedora 40. So it's a usual GNOME tour for the GNOME 41. And we begin by changing between dark and light mode. Again, the wallpaper switches smoothly from light to dark. Uh, for now, let's stick back to the light mode. And what I'm more interested in is the version of the kernel, Fedora 41, 6 bit And the GNOME version on this OS is the GNOME 47, the latest version of GNOME. I got Wayland and now for the Linux kernel is 6.11. Point four, very cutting edge. Now let's look at what uh, this version of Fedora 41 has to offer. On the dock here, we can see some of the apps that are pre-installed. You get the usual Firefox as a default browser, very nice browser, and having it pre-installed here is very very helpful. Now let's look at GNOME files. A very simple file manager, and in dark mode, it switches perfectly to dark and light mode switches to white. Now what else do we have here? We have the GNOME software, one of the best or go-to places on any GNOME desktop to download packages or download software. Now let's check the software repositories that are bundled with the GNOME software on this Fedora 41. First up you can see we have the Flatpaks. You can get Flatpaks packages easily. I'm not a big fan of Flatbox, but now having them very helpful for noobs who just want to click to install. Then we also get the the RPM packages. Uh, we have this one Open H264. I believe this is a codec for MP4 videos. Very useful. We also get the firmware repositories like this Linux vendor firmware service. It's enabled. We also get the Fedora third party repositories which you get to enable immediately after installation or during installation. Flat apps is still here. You get uh, the Google Chrome repository is also enabled here. So it means you can download Google Chrome and install it into your system. And then uh, most importantly we have uh, RPM Fusion uh, repositories. These ones are very very important i remember the first time i interacted with fedora 35 i had to search the internet for like two two to three days yeah just figuring out how to install the rpm packages and get stuff working just having uh, the rpm fusion uh, repositories enabled here in uh, the gnome software especially this ones for nvidia drivers is very useful so if you have an NVIDIA driver a PC, don't worry, they got you covered. This one should detect your system and install the appropriate. Now let's look at the preferences. And here you get to decide whether you want uh, automatic checks and up download of updates on your system. Personally, I prefer to manually do it. This is why I've selected manual. But if you have a good internet connection and you don't worry about data, you can allow automatic updates it's up to you and then there's the option to allow automatic update notifications then they see content filtering here where you decide whether you want free software or proprietary so basically if you enable this you're only allowing free software so proprietary software may not appear while you search for apps on the gnome software just leave this to disabled unless you choose to enable them at your choice now before we leave let's say check some things here uh, on this gnome software you get to see the available softwares that you can download and then below here you can see there's the option to get all the codec that are not pre-installed and this one just being able to get the codecs to play uh, all kinds of media on your system is very important. These ones may be very difficult to install if you didn't have the GNOME software. And the fact that they've included them here makes it very, very helpful. Then there's the 
drivers for your system uh, so this one should detect your system and if you have an nvidia system it should download if you have an intel system it will be able to detect when you run uh, updates on fedora 41 after installation now let's look at the desktop and the number of apps that are pre-installed fedora 41 and basically most of the latest fedora releases they come in very minimal pre-installed apps we can see there is a camera right there there is a maps and the fedora media writer very very useful i found this one uh, very necessary in fact this is why i always keep a copy of fedora in my uh, bootable usb in case I need to create another bootable USB, I can always plug in a live session of uh, Fedora and then I can access Media Writer easily. Then there is the GNOME boxes here. Yeah. This is a virtualization software that is very important and is available on GNOME desktops. So having it here in Fedora is very useful. This one, GNOME boxes, works out of the box after installing Fedora on your system. Although I was trying that on Fedora 40, should work the same way on Fedora 41 since it's pre-installed. And then we also get uh, LibreOffice word processing software. The one that isn't pre-installed here on Fedora 41 is version 24.8, which is latest and should do all your word processing uh, work from over here and then you get the usual terminal the yeah, first fetch is not pre-installed let's see new fetch and this one too is not pre-installed in terms of the usual layout is the usual gnome nothing new over here it's gnome 47 but it does the same same things that uh, gnome 46 was doing so no much difference just a different version now let's look at the system monitor and Oh, with this one you can see the resource usage a cpu usage is not that high it's in the 20s and the ram usage is 1.7 gigs so fedora is not that high on resource usage we have the rhythm box this is a music player should be able to play your music and audios very easily then we have a disc uh, one of my uh, most used applications especially when i'm running a fedora in a live session so i use this one to partition disks especially when i want to install a new os or i want to do a boot a system that's all for today's video so do you think there is much different between this and fedora 40 and do you think it's worth clean installing your system from fedora 40 to 41 just for those three new features that i mentioned a different wallpaper a different gnome version and a different kernel let me know in the comment section below other than that, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. We're almost at 1k guys.